This lesson was a request in the comments by Asana Askate, I hope I'm saying it right, about creating templates for faster workflow. So let's get into it. What's up guys, Idan here from ArcVis Jump, the best place to learn the ArcVis Biz. Have you ever noticed that there are many tasks you repeat doing over and over each time you start a new exterior project? Things like creating pavements, curbstones, roads, windows, doors, wall cover, rails, sunlight, backplates, sky dome, and the list goes on. Well, no worries, just keep calm and create a template. Start by gathering your most used element, as mentioned before, and merge them into one file. Name each item accordingly so you could later on merge specific object by name. Next, create a material index of your most used exterior materials such as wall paint, glass, stone cover, pool water, grass and so on. You can apply them to a generic object like sphere, cube or a plane and add the right UVW map to each material. Now save the file in an easy to access location on your PC. You can create several sunlights in different directions and add each of them to a separate layer along with a background dome. Make sure to rotate and align the dome with the sun direction. Now you can turn the layers on and off and quickly change the sun for different camera angles. Create the background dome by adding a large sphere object. Convert it to editable poly. And delete the lower half. Now select all polygons and click Flip Normals, so they will face inside. Right click the DOM properties and enable the Backface School, so you could see the scene inside the DOM. Now also uncheck the Cast and Receive shadows. Add a new light material with a tiled sky map. and set the right intensity. If you are getting weird black reflections on your materials, you need to turn on the emit light option. Also switch to include under the include exclude list to not affect any object in the scene. Now just to make sure that the sun under the hidden layer will not cast any light, you need to uncheck the show hidden lights in the render settings. You can create different templates 
for different type of elements such as street furniture, vegetation, cars, people, etc. Now, although these templates will make you work much faster, you don't want to use them exclusively all the time. It's a good idea to make your images unique by adding particular or alternative elements from time to time, so keep that in mind. Check out this video for more tips on faster workflow, like, subscribe and I'll see you next time.